What is a cuboid? A cuboid is not a cube. A cube can be a cuboid, but so can a rectangular prism. A cuboid is a special case of a parallelopiped, a three-dimensional solid with six parallelogram-shaped faces. If the 3D object has six parallelograms all meeting at right angles, it is a cuboid. If you assemble six parallelograms to form a three-dimensional solid, you have a polyhedron called a parallelopiped. Another name for this three-dimensional shape is a rectangular prism or right prism. If you have a parallelopiped with vertices measuring 90 degrees, you have a cuboid. All cuboids have these properties. Three dimensions, width, length, and depth or height, six rectangular faces, all vertices are 90 degrees. These properties mean opposite sides of the cuboid are parallel and congruent to each other, and they result in a box shape, like a shoebox, cereal box, or a textbook. To find the volume, V, of any cuboid, the formula is V equals length times width times height, or depth. Because the object is three-dimensional, volume is expressed as a cube, the third power, of whatever linear unit you used, cubic meters, cubic feet, cubic yards, and so on. Let's try an example. Here is a shipping container. The outside dimensions are 8 feet wide, 8.5 feet high, and 40 feet long. What is the volume of the container? We plug in our numbers into our volume formula, and we find that the volume of our shipping container is 2,726 cubic feet. Now let's learn how to calculate the surface area of a cuboid. To calculate the surface area of any cuboid, you need to know the surface area of each face. You then add all six areas together. Because opposite faces are congruent, you only need three faces, which you can multiply times two and then add together. You are using each dimension, width, length, and height too, and only two times in the formula. The formula is surface area equals two times length times width plus two times width times height plus two times length times height. Surface area is always measured in square units of the linear measurement, the second power. Here is a box for cowboy boots. The box measures 40 centimeters long, 31 centimeters wide, and 12 centimeters high. You must wrap these boots for a present. What is the total surface area of the box in square centimeters? So you buy enough gift wrap. First, we plug our numbers into our formula. Then we do the math until we arrive at our answer. And our answer is the surface area equals 4,184 centimeters squared.